Hey everybody, Silas here. Welcome back to the channel, episode 11 of the Making Millions Gold Challenge. I'm on my priest. This week we are going to hit a total, I think a little bit over maybe 500k, which I've started this challenge what, two weeks ago, so we're averaging about 250,000 gold a week. You know, I wanted to show you all this method because it's something that everybody can do. It doesn't require any skill. All it does is require a few alts, but, you know, if you don't have any or you don't have that many, hey, this is the time to level them up. You want to prep them for War Within. So when the first week or two comes out, you're ready with your alt army. You can get your professions done and make millions of gold. I'm going to have more videos for that when it comes out. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Okay. With that being said, I'm on my priest. I didn't have much time to really play on her today. I just did a few dragon races and a couple other world quests. You know, so this is who we got. And then I did get the uh, pouch for the Lone Nifim rep, which I was hoping to get. I got one earlier on my uh, on my Demon Hunter to get the um, overflowing coin purse, which gives about 14k. So that was nice to get that. All right, so we had a little bit of mail too. Nothing much. Let's we'll just take all this mail. Uh, let me go to the CUI real quick. All right, so we ended off with this person. We got a ring. I don't know if that's an upgrade or not. Let's see. Uh, this character doesn't really have that many, this much good gear. So we'll take it. We'll put that on. All right. Just going to sell this old ring. All right. All right. All right. Here we go. All right. Then our character, 9,000 gold. So 9,098 gold. 37 silver and 16 copper. I'm going to send this to our level one character. All right. Now I'm going to switch over to my next character. All right, start right at the top. So this is my main character, my demon hunter. I do a majority of the stuff on him. This week, I was so excited. I did um, a few world quests on him. Actually, all the world quests that gave gold. I did run, um, was it Black Temple to get my war glaives, and I happened to get the second one. I needed the main hand, so um, I can't wait for the time walking event to come up because then I can finally get the transmog. I'll show you all. I'm just super excited. Look at that. I got them both now, and uh, yeah, I did get the um, low niffum box, so I got an extra fourteen thousand. So this character, I got twenty five thousand eight hundred ninety five. We'll open up some dragon uh bags so you get anything good i think i have maybe all the manuscripts from that so it's just basically just gold i did get a pet from black temple but i don't think it sells for much i think i already have a few of them all right open our mail all right gotta get my maybe meat i use this for my bait crafting if anybody wants to know more about that i'll be glad to make a video for you okay so we'll open all this up see how much we get Stop saying that as an error. Um, uh, nothing much. Twelve hundred golds. Everything is so cheap now. This is why I'm focused on doing these world quests. I mean, you can literally farm uh, for so long and don't make anything. Just it's ridiculous how much the prices has dropped. I mean, just the alchemist flavor pockets two weeks ago were selling for seventy k, and now they're just barely selling for. 50. I got what forty eight thousand yesterday after um. The, the auction house commission that's ridiculous you know the drop rate is so low on that you know like okay now we're gonna switch to our next character this is my other skinner i like to have two skinners because uh you know the bait crafting stuff those things since you can only do them once per day they usually tend to keep their value so i usually always have two skinners and um I mean, you don't really make much of them. Other thing else, the Brazilian leather sells pretty quickly, but you don't really make much of it. It's abundant of it. Um, and there's so many people that are just herbalism and mining, and you don't really make much off of that either anymore. All right, so on this character, we had 6,768 gold. Open up these dragon bags. All right. I did get the little box for the um, Emerald Dream. Open that up, too. Um is that a, a back piece? I don't know if that's an upgrade or not. Uh, yep, we'll take that. Got this one. And uh, let's see what we get from the auction house. 
seven thousand gold. All right, so all together we got fourteen thousand four hundred and twenty-five gold. All right, so here we go. 14,425 gold, 30 silver, and three copper. Sorry if I'm a little tired. I just got off work because I like two hours ago, and uh, it was a long night, yeah. Um, but I still got to come home and, you know, do what I have to do for you all. All right, so I'm going to grab my priest real quick. And this character, I do a lot of the stuff you see. I'm in Shadowlands. I do quite a bit of stuff in Shadowlands on this character. I like to uh, farm mounts or out here. I like to do the, um, you know, the weekly quest. Um, I didn't have much time to do many things on her. You know, my girlfriend's been really sick. But, you know, I did make sure I got the, the world quest done as many as possible for you all. And, um, all right. So on this character, we had 4,420 gold. And I also got the Loam Niflum thing, so this has a chance to get the Overflow and Coin Purse, which I really hope one's in here. And, oh, oh yeah, they're pretty hard to get. The drop rate stinks, but if you do get one, it's 14k, so I definitely recommend you do that every week. I got these here. And I could have sold this Battle Pet. I had this Battle Pet here. I've had it in my bags for about three, at least three weeks. Um, it sells for about 12,000. I just am waiting for the Battle Pet event to start, which is, if you look at the calendar, it's next week. So I'm going to level that Battle Pet up and then probably sell it for twice as much. So that's my plan. Um, same with this one here, which sells for about 3000 You know, there's no, I'm not hurting for gold, so there's no point for me just to go sell it for nothing. You know, I'd rather take the time and make it better and then sell it for more profit. Okay, we're going to send our money off real quick. So the 10,104 gold, 2 silver, and 44 copper. All right. All right, switch off to our next character real quick. And I like also being in Revendreth because I use the command table to farm polished pet charms um, passively. So I like to just go there every day. And I'll just start a mission, and then I'll just do something else, and it just brings these polished pet charms, you know, without me having to do much work. It's just, it's really nice. It's convenient. I like it a lot. And, um, you know, when I get enough of them, I'll buy a really valuable pet, and then I'll level it up, and then I'll sell it for a ton of gold. So that's usually my plan. Anyway, the next time I do buy one, I will show you all so you all can see what I'm talking about. All right, so on this character, we had 6,421 gold, and we'll open up these dragon ride in bags okay so we ended it off with once it stops get out all right we'll open this up too all this mail look, let's see how much is in here look at that all those items maybe 5k look at that not even close to that 1812 gold for all that i had rousing order in there i had kazarite or i had a bunch of uh, rousing frost so awakened frost uh, everything so i usually this character is like my miner and i pick stuff up usually while i'm doing uh world quests and stuff like that anything that's one of those special elements and i'll grab it real quick while i'm out there but i don't really go out my way to grab things okay I right, switch to our next tune. This is my paladin. Here, I usually I just started this character probably like a two months ago, so I have really nothing with her professions. I plan on doing blacksmithing on her. I learned it in Valdraken, but I'm gonna probably focus more on doing the blacksmithing once War Within comes out, so I'll get a head start on that, you know. Mm. First week of War Within, I'll probably definitely level up the blacksmith. So when everybody wants to get weapons crafted, I'll be able to make them for them. All right, I'll take all this stuff here. Look, really anything. 233 gold for all that. It's pitiful. All right, we'll open up these dragon races here. Okay. We'll open up this. Oh. 1400 gold from that. I did have this too. I probably could have used that on my other character. I'm not going to um, stop 
edit i'm not gonna re-edit the video or anything like that so i'm just do that next week okay send this off 10,550 gold, 10 silver, and 85 bronze or copper or whatever y'all want to call it. Oh, dang it, look, I missed one. Send that off too. You probably organize my bags, right? Okay. Hit the wrong button. Uh, all right. Five hundred and twenty-two gold, seventy-nine silver, and seventy. Okay. Now we're switch to our next character. Let's see who do we have here? It's... We just have. Oh, let me grab the mail from this person real quick. And I will check my mage. I don't know if I was on my mage first or not. Yeah, I think I was on my mage, so I don't know if I have to do anything. But I will check the mail on this character and send it off. And um, I think that was everybody. So once I just check this mail, I'll send it to my uh, level 1 tune. And we'll see where we're at as of now. Okay. Open all this up. 1,400 gold auctions are so bad this server i play on a really full server um so it's kind of harder to make gold on there and i also haven't really spent a lot of time um doing really any dungeon farms i mostly just farm for the um battle pets and stuff like that because they sell fairly good you know they take a little longer to sell but when they do sell you make quite a bit of coin from that so i like to do that all right, looks like I think we got everybody here. Oh, I got mail coming in from this guy. I think I posted some stuff on the auction house earlier. Maybe uh, a couple of things. Other than that, it's probably not too much. Maybe a few hundred gold. I think some windsong plumage or something like that. I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe something expired on the auction house. But we'll take a quick look. And um, then we will get the final results. So how much do you think is going to be? Oh, wait. All right, open this all up. 2,000 gold. All right, send this real quick. 2,000 gold, 2,015 gold, 41 silver, and 40 bronze or copper or whatever it is. So let's go. All right. Okay, the moment of truth, fellas. If you're watching, let's see how much. So last week, we ended off, look at my notes. We ended off with 258,356 gold, 78 silver, and 51 copper. So I'm hoping just to have at least 500k. So I'm averaging about 250k a week. That is my plan. That is my goal. I didn't have much time this week to play, but... We still going to do what we can do, all right? So like I said, now I have 420,000 as of the video from yesterday. All right, we'll open this up. 2,000, 1,400, another 500, 10,000, 500, 12,000, another 10,000, another 14,000, 3,000, 9,000, and 31,000. So we ended up with 515,867 gold, 25 silver, and 91 copper. Not a bad week. Not a bad week. So we did make roughly about the same, close to about the same amount. So last week we made 258,000, and this week we made, let's see, 258 plus 258, roughly almost, almost the same amount. It was, what, 257 or something like that. So. Numbers are consistent, so that's pretty nice to see. At least you guys know that I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm just showing you all, you know, everything. Every time I make one of these videos, you can look exactly see how much gold is from this video, from the last video. I don't send any more than what I show you on film. Everything remains the same. All right. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching, and let's see. Next week, we should try to hit 
750k this is gonna be great you know million gold a month which means we can make a wow token and or not a wild token we hit gold cap in less than what 10 months or 11 months you know so i'm excited and um thank you so much again see you in the next one